What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to record yourself in tight spaces. Hi, my name is Dr. A.K. Venkatachalam. I am an orthopedic surgeon in Chennai, India. These days I am occupied with making videos to help content creators make videos and I am also offering do-it-yourself tips and tech videos. You can learn about my orthopedic procedures from my website www.drakvenkat.com. My YouTube videos are available on my channel Madras Joint Replacement Center MJRC. I am also available on Rumble, Mevi and Parlor. My Rumble account is MJRC. Kindly log in and check out my videos over the new and latest social sharing and video platforms. Without wasting time, let's dive into it. Why would you want to film in tight spaces? Maybe you got a small home, small house and uh, maybe uh, it's a single bedroom and uh, you that's the only space available to you. So in a bedroom, normally there would be a bed and uh, the whole area of the bedroom may be occupied by your single bed or double bed. But if you have some more space by the side of the bed, then you could utilize that uh, space to set up your YouTube studio over there. Right now I'm filming in my normal setup that is in my drawing room and I've got a camera in front of me. But and if the need arises, I can set up a studio in my bedroom also. I'm going to show you how. Uh, let's look at the challenges of filming in tight spaces. The challenges would be can be grouped under the following heads. Camera source. I am filming with a phone camera and uh, I am not going to talk about uh, DSLR cameras. That's a different ball game altogether. I am a phone videographer. So camera source is obviously the smartphone. I am filming with the rear camera of my Note 9 at 1.5 f aperture it will yield a better depth of field although that depth of field question is not coming in right now light source right now i am sitting in my drawing room and i have got plenty of uh, light sources i have got the daylight sources and i have got a ring light it is mounted on a light stand but if you have to go to a bedroom there may or may not be space to set up a light stand so setting up a light source in your bedroom may be a challenge. So that's the second thing. Third thing, audio input. Right now I'm about two feet away from the camera and hopefully my phone is able to record my audio without any problem. But if you, and that would not, that should not be a problem if you are sitting in a tight space because you will be closer to the camera and the audio will be, see as I come closer to the camera, the quality of my audio will improve although the framing I can see is that it is my head is being uh, projecting outside the frame. But if I am sitting at this distance, it should be fine. But if you are in doubt, you can uh, use the uh, onboard uh, mic or you can plug in uh, the earphone and the head headphone which comes with the camera or you could use a lavalier mic to record your voice into the camera. Audio is 50% of the challenge, 50% is the issue and I have showed you, I have told you how to record your audio. Light, right now I am recording in my drawing room and I have got plenty of light, day, uh, normal light and in addition I have got a ring light. But setting up a light source in your bedroom may be a challenge. I am going to show you, I am going to take you on a tour of my bedroom and I will show you how I have set up my light sources. Then the last thing is the background. Right now I am sitting on my uh, sofa and I am recording. But if you are uh, going to film from your bedroom, remember that uh, you are showing everything that is there in your bedroom to the rest of the world. So the common sense approach would be to tidy your bedroom. Put a neat bed sheet or a duvet over the bed, place the pillows in, in an organized manner and at the head end of the bed, uh, I would uh, suggest that you place some curios or flowers or small plants over the head end of the bed to give a pleasant aesthetic 
seen behind you. Now let's go to my bedroom. Now I'm going to show you the studio setup in my bedroom. I'm going to just turn the camera around and show you my setup here. So welcome to my bedroom. This is the entrance of the bedroom and between here the entrance and the bed I've got some space available here. So this space from there that wall to this wall is about 10 feet and I could position my camera over there and uh, set up my studio. I can place a ta table over here, sit here close to this wall and record. But look what I have done. So this is the end of my bed here and uh, there is a window over here. So the window is a welcome source of light. Although today it is an overcast day, I could rely on the light source because this is the west part of my house and the setting sun would provide a good source of light from this window. Unfortunately, today is an overcast day and the light is not very good. So therefore, I have set up two lights over here. This is a curtain rod over the window and I've used two super clamps. There's a super clamp here and another super clamp here. To this, I have mounted two Yongnyo Air 300 lights is one light here and another light here so these two are my sources of light here i could use any of these as my fill light and my key light this is my camera setup now i placed a tripod on the floor and i have mounted my camera over here and i can record with this this is my background this is the head end of my bed you can see some objects there make sure that your bed is neat there are some flowers over there and there's some so right now i'm going to switch on these lights and uh, you will see my face illuminated so right now i'm sitting at the end of my bed and uh, this camera the second camera with which i am recording is very close to the original camera which i had placed there there's the other camera and now you are seeing me if i get too close to the camera like this if i'm forced to not now but if i'm forced to get too close to the camera like this then i can use I have a wide angle lens I can clamp it onto the camera set my face back a little bit and offer a decent framing so I can get close to the camera to get the background blur but however with the wide angle lens it will set me back and uh, allow the camera to be configured for the background blur. the artificial intelligence in phones are so good that uh, you can set them to focus on these are the advantages of latest phones you can set a background blur if you want to. It's not necessary. I hope that uh, this information was useful to those of you who want to set up your studio in your bedroom. Uh, have a neat uh, setup. Place some objects on the head end. Get good light sources. The mic may not be an issue because you're close to the camera over here and the camera's mic may be sufficient. If you are in doubt, you can always plug in the earphone and headphone which came with the phone or you could use a buds which come with the latest phone or maybe a lav mic. All that, that is all is required. So with these tips, I encourage you to make your videos even from tight spaces like bedrooms. You don't need to set up light stands. In fact, all my light stands are over here in, the, in this corner. I have no place to place the light stand in this tight space between here and the and the wall so my light stands are just lying there i utilize it for my normal filming setup if you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel madras joint replacement center mjrc i also am posting videos to my rumble account it is rumble.com there's no app but you can log in from your computer rumble.com mjrc i'm also on mevi and parlor. Like and share. Inform your friends about it. 
subscribe to my channel Madras Joint Replacement Center and press the bell icon after subscribing. That will help the video to be propagated further and reach more people. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and Merry Christmas. Bye.